Today's Gospel, Saturday, July 31, 2021, is taken from the book of St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 1 to 12. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus and said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now, Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother, Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people, for they regarded him as a prophet. But at the birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord Today's faithful reflection is from Sister Jen Kasumbal. Mark is a married man with a beautiful wife and two beautiful daughters. Smart as he is, he easily climbed the corporate ladder and became a country manager of a company. Charming as he is, he became a magnet for women. Friendly as he is, he had so many friends. But instead of using his blessings properly, he gave in to the pressure of the world by womanizing and squandering money with his friends. After nine years of marriage, his wife left him with no savings, no properties, and everyone blamed him. He also had children from three more different women and would regularly complain of not having enough money to sustain his daily needs. Today, Mark continues to live a life of brokenness, hurt, and unforgiveness. He would often say, Kung nagpakatinu lang sana ako. Do you ever feel haunted by a past failure or a guilty conscience? In today's gospel, King Herod, the most powerful and wealthy man in Judea, had everything he wanted, except a clear conscience and peace with God, when he took his brother's wife and had John the Baptist beheaded, all because he gave in to pressure. The world will continue to pressure and tempt us, but whenever it does, always remember, we may be in this world, but we are not of the world. From John chapter 15 verse 19 Let us pray. Lord, when faced with temptation, remind me how beautiful heaven is with you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.